Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial how to create histogram within Power BI. So histogram is the statistical chart which helps us understand the frequency or the data distribution when we, there is a large quantity of information or the large amount of information. This helps us look at the distribution of data for better understanding of how the data is uh, whether there are a lot of uh, high values low values normally distributed yeah you may have heard this term like normally distributed and histogram basically helps us look at that information okay so what do we want so we're going to create this histogram using the custom charts and just before that a quick information if you are new to my videos then this sheet is present in the description where all the videos related to the power bi is mentioned along with their respective links so that you can easily search and jump to that video very quickly now apart from this we, I have also posted a Google Data Studio report which has more than 800 videos in, in that which is inclusive of technology like Tableau or the click related tutorial which you can search and uh, if you are interested in that area you can learn it. Alright so let's go to the Power BI and create it. Alright so here we are within the Power BI and the histogram will be present here in the get more visual as the ready-made chart so we'll click on cat more visual if this is not coming for you or asking you to log in then you may need to log in using your official email id yeah and uh, that means any email id that is other than like your gmail hotmail yahoo these common providers right these are all general email ids but power bi accepts only official or the custom domain email id uh, for for access of this chart so what I'm going to do is uh, provide histogram as a search value and this is a histogram and you will see there are quite a few values that is related to the histogram so I will going to click on the first one because I know this is from Microsoft Corporation as you could see however it, have, it has got only two stars because uh, it has um, very less features as, as compared to its uh, competitors but nevertheless while going to go and click on add once you'll click on add the histogram like icon will present over here so since i've already added it i will just go and click on the histogram 2.1.1 that's the histogram version that i am using and i'll just expand that and it picks up only two values one is the actual value and one is the frequency however frequency in in certain cases is optional so for example if i just put sales over here you will see that it has by default picked up the frequency where the sales are high that means the range between 0 to 4.95 k there are seven uh, 7300 sales that has been made similarly for range 4.95 to 9.9 9, the 536 sales were made so by default it has picked up the frequency so that's why i mentioned that it is optional in many cases so once uh, i go into the format i have the flexibility to increase the bin sizes or what i mean is the number of bins i can increase by default it will going to pick up based on the range uh, of the data so it picks up the default bin number of bins however i can go into the general and provide let's say i want 100 bins right so now if you will see the shape has completely changed but it has messed up the chart a little bit because down there it's very difficult to read what bin it is until we just go here and look at okay from uh, 0.00k to 0.89k this is uh, 5000 sales were made and this basically indicates that a lot of sales that we are making is the low frequency or low value sales over here because uh, that's the actual sales value amount when you look at the range and the frequency is how many sales that you have made so this looks like a very skewed chart where uh, it is skewed towards the lower sales value and very few values are present uh, at the higher end so right now we are not able to see anything because uh, we have increased the bin size but uh, this this basically indicates that a lot of sales are on the lower end of the chart and that basically helps us look at the distribution or where the focus of most of the sales have been or is is basically present for the company so that's very quickly about uh, how you can create histogram 
uh, the way you can interpret it and the useful information that it gives us looking at the distribution of data. And that's about it. And I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.